Dave, I know when uh, the Big Sky Passenger Rail Authority was uh, getting underway, it was right during the height of the pandemic, and I know that that first conference uh, kind of got put put aside and had to go remote. It must be exciting to be at this point now to have it coming to Missoula, and especially at this uh, point in the in the whole project. Well, it is super exciting to bring this all home here to Missoula, Montana. Even that first conference back in 2020, as disruptive as it was to try to pull this thing off during the middle of a pandemic and to pivot from a, an in-person to a virtual summit, uh, that same spirit of ingenuity to, to pull that off and, and make that one of uh, the most premier online experiences for participants really is in the same vein as as uh, everything that we've accomplished in the past three years. Now, getting this all together, and I know we're really at an interesting point uh, with uh, with the whole effort and the initiative here, what will you be kind of watching to, to hear, and, and what do you think uh, maybe two or three of the high points are that you're hoping to hear from this uh, uh, get-together? So on Friday, we will have assembled here in Missoula representatives from the Federal Railroad Administration, from Amtrak, U.S. Department of Transportation, industry um, representatives. So what we are hoping to to cover, and there's a lot of ground to cover in, in a one-day event, but what we're hoping to cover is an update from the Federal Railroad Administration on, on where things stand with this long distance passenger rail study that is coming to a conclusion and which already we know that this route through Missoula and Missoula, Mon- uh, Missoula County is one of the preferred routes in the nation to be restored, preferred discontinued route. So number one, just getting that status check of where this this route that we're most concerned about sits in the overall uh, scheme of things nationwide. Secondly, uh, we are going to be kicking off the actual planning process for the restoration of this route. We were accepted into a nationwide program. Uh, the North Coast Hiawatha route was accepted as the only new long distance route in the entire nation accepted into the project development pipeline. So we're going to be hearing from folks uh, in the uh, rail industry, rail car manufacturing companies, what it would look like to create a truly innovative passenger rail line that utilizes hydrogen fuel cell technology. So this is a big deal for us also. And uh, we will thirdly be hearing from experts um, around the country in terms of what passenger rail means for community revitalization, economic development, and uh, all these things that, um, that passenger rail can help support. And I know a lot of interest in that in particular because one of the driving ideas with this is economic development and opening the door to uh, uh, a really bright future for uh, the communities along the Southern Route and, and the entire state, really. One of the messages that we try to drive home time and time again is that as much as we think rail is a great way to travel, it's not just uh, an end unto itself. It's a means to an end of creating vibrant, vital communities. So uh, as much of uh, uh, a great thing as it is for a transportation option, it's meant to provide that support for vibrant, healthy, vital communities, whether you're trying to see a doctor hundreds of miles away in a community, whether you're trying to meet friends and, and uh, acquaintances uh, in the winter months rather than risking your neck sliding over ice-covered interstate highways, or whether it's bringing tourists to our communities if we're looking at enhancing our tourism and recreation economy in Montana. Rail just has a lot of uh, attributes that are super attractive to all of those things. Now, is this uh, open to the public? And if somebody's been kind of following this process and they want to hear, learn more, I'm sure they're welcome to come too, right? Absolutely. So the conference kicks off at 8.30 a.m. on Friday, June 7th, fourth floor of the Missoula, the world-acclaimed Missoula Public Library, and it goes to about three in, uh, three o'clock or so in the afternoon, fully open to the public. Come on down. 
If you uh, want to have lunch with us, you do need to register in advance. So you can find out more information about the schedule and the conference by going to bigskyrail.org. And we would love to see folks uh, at the event on Friday. Mm -hmm.